so it's been a while since I did a discussion so I thought I would do one today because it's come to my attention recently that since I started watching booktube I have completely stopped reading the blurbs on books and I think that's quite an interesting thing and I've been finding recently that because I don't read the blurbs I've been finding it a little bit harder to review books because with the blurb it kind of gives you a guideline of how much to reveal um yeah so I thought I would just talk about the fact that I've stopped reading blurbs and how it has changed my reading and my reviewing um so I've been watching booktube now probably for about five years um I've been making booktube videos for nearly as long I'm pretty sure it's going on for about four and a half years now um and and my reading has changed no end in that time um, and perhaps the main reason that YouTube has stopped me from needing to read blurbs is that I no longer just go into a bookshop and pick up a book because it sounds good. Um, I've got a very long list of books to buy. Um, this year I am trying to do a series where I talk about books that I haven't heard about on YouTube. Um, my hope in, in the long term is that I can then start going back into bookshops and discovering books that way. But at the moment I'm working through some of the older books on my shelf that I have not bought through books. YouTube. Eventually I will start going back into bookshops and then I suppose I'll be reading blurbs again. Um, but as it is, I only buy books that I know I want or that I know are interesting sounding. Um, so I generally don't need to read the blurb because I've already heard somebody speaking about it. But obviously when I actually come to read a book, it could have been a year or two since I heard somebody speak about it. I have a lot of books to read. So um, when I buy a book, it's literally going on my shelf for a, the minimum of a year like if I read a book when I've only had it for a year it feels like a treat let's just say that um so you know by the time I actually come to read the books even though I know what they're about because I've heard somebody speak about them it completely goes out of my mind but I've just gotten out of the habit of reading the blurb and I actually think it's quite nice going into a book without really knowing much about it because ultimately the blurb is a selling device you know it's mainly there so that when you're in a bookshop you can decide whether you want that book or not but in terms of a book that I already own I already know that I want it um so going into it without knowing anything you know it doesn't put you at a disadvantage for the most part because the book will reveal everything to you in due course admittedly there are some exceptions to this rule there are times when I'll be reading a book if it is if it's quite a complex and confusing book uh, I definitely do sort of turn to the blurb after a, a few hundred pages where I'm like what on earth is going on um, and that can kind of sometimes help to bring the narrative together um, but I think generally an in normal narrative that's not that difficult to understand it really does enhance the reading experience and it, it enhances the surprise element and I find especially a book that would be relevant for this would be Tainted Love by Anna Shilvers which I read last month. Um, I will link the review of it down below if you're interested but we did buy that just not having heard about it and I obviously read the blurb when I got it but I think the blurb was quite clever and that it didn't tell you much um, which it can kind of be frustrating on the face of things but I think if I'd known about the things that were in that book before going into it I a might not have picked it because it wouldn't have sounded like something I would enjoy and b it wouldn't have had that surprise element that really made it stand out in my mind because it was the fact that I didn't know about the features in that book that really highlighted it for me. This is where not reading the blurb can sometimes get confusing with having to review books because with that book especially I was really stumped as to what to say um, and how much to reveal as I say because the surprise element had such an impact on me and because it was such a pleasant surprise. Um, so the review in that I do say at the beginning if you want to go completely into it blind I would recommend it um, but obviously I then go on to reveal as much as I had to to review it. Um, it it's interesting I think how much we know about a book before we go into it and I think some people like to know a lot you know some people watch individual reviews and that's another thing I don't watch individual reviews anymore um, because I find if I've already read a book for the most part I don't need to hear a review about it until it, unless it's one of my favourites and I really want to know what this person's thought um, but also if I haven't read a book yet I don't want to know that level of detail um, so that's a whole other issue but yeah 
I think it's it's interesting and I think some people like to know everything about a book going in and they do seek out individual reviews before buying a book and you know they love to read the blurb and really get up to knowledge on what they're about to read and that makes sense of course it makes sense especially if you don't read that many books you know you, you can't really risk picking up a book and it not being something that you're going to enjoy um, but for somebody who reads a lot of books I think it would be an interesting experiment if you do normally read the blurbs avidly um, I'd recommend giving it a go not reading them for a while because honestly it makes the reading experience so much more fun um, and as I say it can really enhance a book and make a book that perhaps wouldn't have appealed to you or wouldn't have floated your boat um, it makes a book like that really more enjoyable I think it kind of ties in as well with the thing that a lot of bookshops do now with blind book dates where you pick up a book that is all wrapped up and it just has sort of keywords on it kind of the same idea of just delving into a book and taking a chance um it, it's an interesting one and as i say if you read a lot i would recommend doing it anyway, anyway i just thought i would throw it out there um let me know down below do you read blurbs do you like to know a lot about a book going in or do you quite like the element of mystery as well and i will see you next time bye